Are you guys ready for the heroine of Halloween, the queen of costumes, the resident of Erie, Pennsylvania? Bring her on out. Bring her on okay. out. Okay. Katie Linnadal has just blown the doors off Halloween. We welcome on Katie to the screen. My name is Oswald Cobblepot, or you can call me the Penguin. Unbelievable. I am not a human being. I am an animal. <laughs> Have you guys missed me, my friends? <laughs> Danny DeVito. This is one of the greatest costumes <laughs> I've ever seen in general. This is the penguin. This is Danny DeVito in the pe as the penguin from Batman Returns. Is this not outrageous? She looks more like the penguin than Danny DeVito did. <laughs> I, there are penguins squealing in the background right now. We used a little bit of technology, Bob. <laughs> Bob. Not a happy accident. It was on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Oswald Cobblepot. Every year I go as the most attractive costume. <laughs> it's every woman's opportunity to really just go for it. And who better to bring it home? Than Oswald Cobblepot. You have to love Katie. Forget sexy cats. Forget going as Kim Kardashian. She went as the penguin this year. Can't even get the seat. I had to drive over like this too. I had to pull the seat back a little bit, not gonna lie. The innkeeper was very confused. <laughs> A happy spooktacular, everybody. The annual DA show that celebrates Halloween as we all dress up in our costumes and enjoy the morning. Michael John was basically like Cousin Eddie from the Griswolds and National Lampoons. He was just bring over a six-pack of Meister Brow, always loud and obnoxious. Poopers full. Yeah, exactly. This was my Uncle John. My Uncle John came over one time when I was a kid for Halloween. And he comes over, he's like, hey, you guys got any sheets? And we're like, yeah, are you going to stay over, Uncle John? He's like, no, it's my Halloween costume. He grabbed one of the bed sheets out of our bed sheet closet, cut two eyes in it, and was like, I'm a ghost. Cracked open his beer, was like, let's go trick-or-treating. He took our sheet out of our closet and <laughs> ruined it to go trick-or-treating. Was it a Giza dream sheet? <laughs> no, it was not. I'm no, a big fan. No, thankfully, okay. it was like a... $13 sheet, I'm sure, from the five and nine as well. But a part of you has to respect Uncle John. Do you? High ankle sprain. The Seahawks have only nine sacks through six games, so they traded for Bengals defensive end Carlos Dunlap yesterday. Uh, as for that MLS playoff push, LAFC, Portland, Sporting KC, the Red Bulls, Nashville SC, and New England all clear. Uh, so I think we should cue the music here, guys, and do our starting five all-star lineup of candy, okay? This is the starting five all-star lineup of candy. Well, the whole key to a starting five is a little bit of diversity, right? right. I like playing a lot of uh, my chocolate favorites up in my front court. So I have a center, two forwards here. Okay. Give me my Reese's Peanut Butter Cups powering right in the middle. The Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, sometimes you don't want to pick them because they're too common. But that's how damn delicious they are. You need a peanut butter cup in every Halloween bag. I'm going with a Twix at one of my forwards. It's still unbelievable. Bob Ryan's never heard of it. It is the one, you know, with the cookie crunch. <laughs> yeah. And I need those fun size bag of M&Ms mm. when it comes time for Halloween. The M&M is the perfect candy. Sprinkle a little, melts in your mouth, not in your hand, pop it in your mouth. But that's a lot of chocolate, so you need a little fruit backdrop. My backcourt's all fruit, DA. Give me Sour Patch Kids. It's a little trendy, sometimes a little overlooked, sometimes can rip up your tongue a little bit, but I find it perfect to suck on those. And last but not least, I like a Starburst. You give me a good couple Starbursts there, you bite in, it might mess up your teeth, it doesn't matter, it packs that fruit punch. So Starburst, Sour Patch Kids, Peanut Butter Cups, Twix, and M&Ms for me. Okay, that is Mraz's starting five. Mr. Andrew Bogish, what is your all-star starting five? DA, it is 2020, so I'm going to eschew Sean's kind of normal starting five setup here. Go more Houston Rockets, like four outside, one big guy down low. That one big guy down low is a Snickers bar, traditional hearty with the peanuts mixed in there. So that's something that my anchor, my rim protect. Mm. And then along the perimeter, 
Going back to that Twix bar, it's number one in the overall power rankings. That's my lead guard, the Twix. Running the point here, going real off the board, Goldenberg's Peanut Chews. Those oh, are God. the official movie candy. Peanut Chews. Andrew Bogus. Those things oh. are delicious. Oh. Pretty. Are you out of oh. touch with reality, dude? <laughs> no, 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 no. Mraz, where do you sit on peanut chews? I, I think if you are handing out peanut chews on Halloween, you might as well put candy corn in a Ziploc bag and have the power washer out because your house is getting egg. There isn't a kid in America looking to knock on a door and get a peanut chew thrown in their bag. Not a Bo chance. I'll keep them. Mr. Pete, the body of Alati, what's your starting five? Well, the, it's built around the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. that He, he is setting the tone for the entire team. Mm -hmm. I go Kit Kat, Swedish Fish, Butterfinger, and Almond Joy. A little different... But the wow. Reese's Peanut Butter okay. Cup spreads out the offense and gets everybody involved. I didn't see an Almond Joy. I didn't think anybody liked Almond Joys. Yeah. Bob the Deli Man, Pete Bellotti, and that's it. Wow, you're an <laughs> Almond Joy. Are you a Mounds guy as well? I like Mounds too. Oh. Easy candy to eat. <laughs> Can I say something? Do you guys know how to draft a team? You're drafting for the rest of your neighborhood, not yourselves. Like, no one wants peanut chews. Let me speak for the people. And also, you're like, oh, I love Swedish fish. It's not about you. This is just in. Not even the penguins want the peanut chews, okay? We now hand the mic over to the penguin, Katie Lindendahl. Who is your starting five candies? My starting five candies. I'm gonna bring it home and go with everybody's choice. Okay, first one I'm going with is, <laughs> okay, and let's talk about my pet top picks. Uh, you gotta go for the Reese's. And I, I actually did a little nerdy research here. Top candies for 2020, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup comes in first place with 36% choose it as the top candy for Halloween for 2020. The Reese's PC, or Reese's Cup is going strong. My number one was my starting point guard. My number two, I'm gonna throw in, I guess you'd call this a little bit of a sleeper, if you will. You guys went specific. I'm going specific. The White Mystery Airhead. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going in on that one. But very, again, just only White Mystery. And we're not sure. Is White Mystery one flavor? We've talked about this before. Or is it a mixture of flavors? No one's sure. It doesn't matter. It's all artificial. GMO. Throw it in the bag. Great. <laughs> my, my three. I'm going, my small forward. I'm going with the right Twix. Okay, yeah. We don't want the left. We're going right. Okay? Right Twix for my small forward. Then I'm going to get fancy and I'm going to go with the pumpkin pie Kit Kat. Oh. Y'all find it? Y'all are heroes. Okay? Fancy. Yeah, that's fancy stuff there. So I'm going to finish with the Starburst Pinks and Reds. Oh, Pinks oh. and Reds are the best ones. Because yeah. nobody likes the rest. Yeah. What do you do with your left Twix? You throw it out. Okay. <laughs> right Twix only. You throw it out. I think an underappreciated sixth man on everybody's team, Tootsie Rolls. Nobody mentioned Tootsie no, Rolls. No, no. That is no, a Halloween no. keeper Ugh, forever. The delicious. No, they might be the best no. Halloween candy. Whole thing. In a no. Ugh. Tootsie Rolls. No. Ugh. What are we eating? Candy from 1920? Yeah, you We've advanced. Some Werther's Originals? This is literally a Jock <laughs> Jam song named after the candy. You don't get that with a blow pop. Every year, the Halloween spectacular. I just very much look forward to it. It's definitely better than Gotham City. I want to thank Bogish. I want to thank the body. I want to thank Raz and his whole family, who looks way better than he does. No offense, lots of offense. And I look <laughs> forward to this again next year. I was trying to get the penguin sound effects to come up faster, but my face ID was not recognizing me. I'll leave it on that <laughs> note. <laughs> As the penguin slides off camera, Katie just slid off of set, fell over, and started flapping her wings. <laughs> ah! Is the show over, DA? <laughs> <laughs> Do you need another Geico read? Ah!